Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Iris. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And we finally have some new information on the massive season 3 update, aka the 1.20 update, which is going live tomorrow in Modern Warfare. Now within this update, we're going to be receiving a new LMG, the new Gunsmith Customs, as well as the new Obsidian Camo, which is a higher tier of Damascus, which I might add is going to be incredibly difficult to unlock now this new lmg can be unlocked through the encryption bundle which is going to be in the store now with all these new bundles if you guys want to have a chance at winning the new encryption bundle and have access to this lmg immediately all you have to do is drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications and follow me over on fruit lab my link is to be at the top of the description below i'm gonna be hooking up two subscribers tomorrow at 10 45 pm with this new bundle now we're gonna be going into detail on all the new items and new additions that are coming to this game within this new update in this video and i might add during this gameplay i was absolutely going off. I had like a 20 man kill feed and my teammate actually almost dropped the nuke as well So I hope you guys do enjoy and also if you guys are excited for the new 1.20 update Excited for the new gunsmith customs and also excited to get grinding to unlock this new Encryption bundle or maybe to go ahead and unlock the new obsidian camo Make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications with all being said, let's get right into the gameplay. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears, and we have a lot of new information regarding the new Season 3 update in Modern Warfare. Now, for this new 1.20 update, we are actually going to be getting a new light machine gun. Now, they actually revealed the name of this new LMG. We're going to get a nice little quad off the start. Got to get map control. Now, this is going to be called the MK9... Ruin LMG. What the hell is going on in my lobby right now? This guy needs to chill out. This LMG is going to be called the new MK9 Bruin LMG. And the description up. I gotta go ahead and mute this guy. That fool just got me killed. Now, the description of the MK9 Bruin LMG is it's going to be an accurate but modest damage light machine gun that's going to be good at long ranges now this actually kind of reminds me of the m29 saw that was in modern warfare 3 so i'm kind of getting that vibe from this weapon so i'm curious if it's going to play exactly like how that weapon did in mw3 now this weapon is going to be obtainable through either a challenge you can get within the lmg class or it could be bought as a variant now i have a feeling that a lot of people are probably just going to go ahead and get the variant of this weapon off the rip just because that's going to be the quickest and honestly the easiest way to get this weapon unlocked but for those of you who do not want to spend any money for those of you who just want to go ahead and grind on the challenge want to do it the old school way no fear you can get this weapon unlocked by just going ahead and doing a challenge just like every other dlc weapon that does release in modern warfare i do like that feature that they have in this game so for people who don't want to spend money they can go ahead and get all these lmgs all these weapons for pretty much free and you know doing a challenge that doesn't really take that much amount of time it's probably gonna be you know get 30 kills with an lmg and maybe like you know five games or so something like that now we're also beginning in this new 1.20 update is we're going to be getting a numerous amount of weapon blueprints now they actually went ahead and they kind of teased exactly what's going to be coming to the game as far as blueprints i'm going to be putting that image on the screen right now for you guys to check out there's going to be a new aug blueprint in this game and i have a feeling there's going to be a new type of gesture as a free pack they're going to be bringing in here they've been doing that a lot recently we've been getting a lot of free packs in this game so I would not be surprised if they did go ahead and add that within this new update as well. Now, obviously, you know, the first day, that's just going to be what we're going to be getting the first day. There's going to be more than that coming to the game. Now, obviously, we all know that there's going to be Gunsmith Customs coming to the game as well within this new 1.20 update. And I'm actually going to be going ahead and showing the screenshot of what those Gunsmith Customs are are gonna be looking like on the screen right now for you guys you guys can check it out it looks pretty cool i cannot wait to get my hands on this 
this is what I'm honestly most excited for and what I want to get a hold of as soon as this update does go live. Now, something else I want to kind of add for you guys as well, holy shit, as well as, you know, the Gunsmith Customs. Um, we're going to be able to mix and match attachments from different variants. So, if you guys like, let me, let me go ahead and get this, you know, as an example. Say, for example, you guys have the AK-47 pink perforator. You know how that weapon has that nice pink, pink camo for, like, the barrel as well as the magazine. You can go ahead and put that on other AK-47 variants in this game. Oh, he, he got me. He blew up my ammo box. Good play, brother. Yo, I was, I was in their motherfucking spot. <laughs> oh, man. I was a couple off my nuke. I was like two off my nuke. I was in that spawn. Hey, my teammates actually going crazy too in here. GG. But you can actually go ahead and mix and match the weapon variants and make it your own. Make some pretty badass variants, which I'm actually pretty happy about. I'm definitely going to be mixing in um, all of the gold and the pink AK-47s together. I'm, be mi I'm definitely going to be mixing the gold and the pink M4s together. And I'm also going to be mixing some of the MP5 variants together. A lot of those gold and the blue ones. Ooh, I can't wait to go ahead and mix the gold and the blue MP5 together. Let me know down in the comment section uh, what you guys are excited to mix and match with. Uh, oh, man, this honestly is badass. Like, this is going to be pretty cool. I cannot wait for this. You guys can probably tell I'm pretty hyped up for it because I have a lot of the blueprints in the game. I actually love the blueprints in this game. And uh, Jesus, there's going to be some crazy ass blueprints. Especially the ones that have like the tiger skin camos. I can't wait to see what those are going to be looking like and what people are going to be doing. It's going to be an, an incredible amount of uh, creativity on Modern Warfare within the next couple of days. Now finally what I wanted to talk about and discuss is going to be the new um, obsidian camo. Which, uh, to, not to my surprise, I was kind of had an idea this was going to happen. Y'all, you guys actually have to have the Mascus camo unlocked to get the... To, I gotta get out of here. You actually have to have the Damascus camo fully unlocked to get the Obsidian camo. So if y'all don't have the Mascus, there's gonna be no way that you guys can get Obsidian camo unlocked. But honestly, I did expect that. I did, you know, I, I did feel that was gonna have to happen because obviously they ain't gonna put a camo in the game that, you know, is potentially better than Damascus that you don't have to do all the work to get Damascus for it. That, that, you know, that just makes, that just makes sense they were not going to do that. Let me get the hell out of here. So you're going to have to have the Damascus camo unlocked in order to have access to the Obsidian camo. I'm going to wait on these guys right here. guys at I got a lot, I know I got a lot of teammates in this room with me all right hopefully they can hold that down but let me know for those of you who have the Ma Damascus camo unlocked are you guys gonna be going for the obsidian camo like what time what time frame do y'all think you know it's gonna it's gonna take to kind of get that camo unlocked because you know from my understanding it's looking like this obsidian camo is gonna take quite a bit of time um, obviously I think it's gonna be something like I heard this was a rumor that I heard that the obsidian camo was gonna be like get 30 kills with a single weapon in 30 different games. Like if that's the case, that's a grind. And honestly, just thinking about thinking about it this way, for those of who, who for those of us who don't play the multiplayer a lot, obsidian camo is gonna be damn near impossible to get in battle royale because 30 kills. In 15 different games, or was it 30 kills? I heard 50 kills, excuse me. In 15 different games? Damn it, dude, I died again. That's going to be nearly impossible to get. He, his ass literally spawned behind me. That's going to be literally impossible to get in Warzone. So we're going to see exactly how this does play out, you know, in the near future. Come on, peek. Ah, I'm not going to challenge him, nope. I think we're going to end up flipping the spawns, but let me know what you guys are excited for the most in this Season 3 update. Like, this is going to be the biggest update that we have so far within Season 3. And it's actually going to be a fat-ass update. We're going to need a whole new data pack. So, I mean, if y'all are 
y'all don't have the fastest internet, I highly recommend going ahead and having somebody kind of ready to download this update as soon as it goes live because there is going to be a 15 gigabyte minimum data pack that's going to have to be downloaded. That's not the update size. So 15 gigabytes on top of whatever the update size is, hey, that's like a full day for some folks. So I don't know really what Modern Warfare is thinking. Uh, I think they should definitely compress these updates a little bit better because 15 gigabytes on top of whatever it's going to, the size, I mean, that's a lot of time. Like, that's that's no joke. And that's a lot of storage space. I saw an article that this game is damn near 200, 200 gigabytes now with this update that's coming out tomorrow. So, I mean, 200 gigabytes for a damn multi, only for a damn game. That's a lot. That's a lot of gigabytes. But like I said, let me know uh, down in the comment section, you know, what you guys think about that. So, let's go ahead and try to wrap this game up. And we almost got a nuke too, man. We're like in a 28. We turned up. Let's come out right there. I got spotted by a damn recon grenade, whatever that is. Check down here. Nobody. Check that guy out right there. Yo, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me get out. Here we go. Come on right there. Here we go. There we go. Gonna run it back over here. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. That's the game. We end up dropping 83 kills. Not too bad. So if you guys are hyped about the new 1.20 update, make sure you guys absolutely smash like button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. I'm gonna catch y'all the next one. Deuce. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video Deuce.